Guys, I think we hurry up. Okay. Because the weather will not get better. Okay. Well, it's Fabian, isn't it? <laughs> well, he's got a leg on I think. Is he? I've got mine as well, just in case. And a gelatini. <clears throat> which is Italian for gelé. Is that true? No. <laughs> Both me and Fabian Dubai are absolutely knackered. Very tired. I slept on the way here. Proper little sleep in the van. Did you sleep well last night? I slept, uh, like, I slept like a baby. Like a baby? Yeah. Like really, really you well. need milk now? No, I don't. <laughs> a little bit. You need milk? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> it's a From big rain. day though, wasn't it? It's a lot of... A lot yeah, of it was the heat. So, and if you're heavy, yeah, then the well, heat... You're muscly, mate, aren't you? Not heat, nah, muscly. it's not only muscle. Okay. <laughs> It's not anymore a six pack, it's now maybe a one pack. Oh, one small pack. one. A small one pack. Small one. Okay. Just shaking my legs. It's what people, it's what athletes do. Regardless of your sport, that really can help. Just got to be careful not to shake my little beer belly at the same time. So we're in Fabian's kind of garage shed. Um, he likes a bottle of wine, doesn't he? Look at that for a collection. Are you, you're a bit of a sommelier? No. No. Okay. The thing is. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we picked up the wrong place to come because like the chaos place, but this is just, you know, old bicycle from, I mean, not old, yeah. Yeah, not old, just from last year. Okay. So things has changed with BMC, yep. but the wine is still the wine. And then there's a lot of new helmets, then there's books and, and stuff like this. Yeah, it's like just, you know, <laughs> shoes. I forgot, my sh I left my shoes in one of the vans after yesterday's ride, woke up this morning, packing me stuff. No shoes, but luckily, uh, yeah. Look, I have. This. <laughs> oh, so this is our. These oh. are from Bontrager, old ones. Yeah. So, and old ones, just like rarely, like you know, Tour de France shoes, prototype shoes. I think this will be fitting. Yeah, we put Great that stuff. in. Okay. Otherwise, we can take away one of your. So. Yeah. Okay. We can. Scary. Right. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> you want to take a bottle of wine? Uh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the rain stopped. Yeah, it hey. stopped somehow. So, let's go. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. Well, we've got enough material there for maybe a Netflix series. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't start riding because of Miguel Indurain. Yeah. I started because my dad had a bicycle in his garage and I asked him to use it. Oh, that that's, was interesting. I was going to ask you that question. How did you, so it was you that wanted to ride. That's I asked him to, to, to use his bicycle. Yeah. An old one with cable, you know, sneaky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In football, young kids seeing the famous guys on TV, people talk about, and then they start playing because of Ronaldo. You play because of them or you play because you like? Yeah. That's the thing, because if it comes to hard heart, idols are important on a certain age. Yeah. But to continue passion. You must love it, mustn't it? It's got to be in yes. your heart, isn't it? I think that was... In cycling is different, I think. Yeah. It's because it's so hard. I mean, football's hard, but it's different in it. It's hard in a different way. I used, I, used, I used to love playing football and I did want to be a pro footballer. It's only when I went to the tour and my dad was a cyclist that I was inspired to ride, but Greg LeMond and Hino were my idols, yeah. Kelly. But then after that, it was about me loving doing it. You yes, know? yes, yes. So this ride that we're doing, it's like you said, we're straight with like one and a half kilometers. We're straight yeah, see, into the beautiful is, countryside. You, you, so that's the city. This is where the stadium is from yesterday, where Tour de Suisse finish has been. Okay. And now that's why it's cool. I can go really easily. My it's daughter beautiful. down here is doing the horses. And yeah. Even if the highway is so close. Yeah. But I don't hear the highway. And so it's now really in, nice. in two minutes, when we, when we finished, we're going to be straight away like in more green. 
you go to the mountains if you want. You yeah. can go to the flat if you want. You can go to the up and down if you want. You How far are the mountains for you from here if you wanted to ride? What do you mean? What is for you mountain now? Ah, uh, something like yesterday. So it's quite a. Um, yeah, it's I mean, quite a long ride. That's a long one, but I can okay. go by two hours. I'm on. 1600 meters. Oh, right, okay. There we go. So in two okay. hours, two and a half hours. Yeah. By the way, your shoes, they're really good. Yeah. I think yeah, I've got some are, hey. extra watts as well. This is feeling really good. This is burn, <laughs> this is burn power. <laughs> No stopping him, even in retirement. Coming up to the Cancellar, Fabian Cancellar Bridge, of course, double Olympic gold medalist, he gets his own bridge! You don't get anything from winning the Mozart gift camp. It's a small one, but at least it's, it's, there, nice, it's even ridden the Cancellar Bridge. Cancellar Bridge, look at that. Oh, mate. Riding underneath the Cancellar Bridge with Cancellar, that's pretty cool. How did you find, you know, when you, when you first retired, how did you find the, the day when you didn't have to race anymore? Did you, did you plan, did you plan much or was it, No. did it all happen all of a sudden? You thought, oh my God, I, now I've got to, <laughs> I've got to work, you know, I've got to do something else, I've got to find a new kind of direction. I mean, I knew at 16, it's my last season, that's a new, yep. but I didn't know probably where I'm going to stop by okay. beginning of the year, Yeah. but I, the, because I was focused on racing. Yeah. And I said, maybe, I don't know, if you win a classic or double or whatever, maybe it feels, r and it will feel right. Yeah. I would say, if I win, probably if I will have won the fourth Flanders, I yeah. will stop. Okay. Could be at that day, we'll stop. Yeah, straight away. Yeah, that's enough, finish right at the pinnacle. R yeah, right, yeah. and this was always my dream and will to do it. And, and okay, classic came, but not, I came, but not like. Then I went to the Giro. Unfortunately, I got sick, so I had no chance. Even I could even the, the, the Giro with the yellow uh, with the Malia Rosa yeah. to ride one day in Malia Rosa. That's it. Special, could yeah, be yeah. also special. Uh, I knew about the Worlds, Lombardy, uh, but the Worlds been anyway too hard. Yep. Yep. So Lombardy, yeah, why not? And, and as a last race, as the last monument, having a storytelling ending. Did that year, apart from the Olympic, did you win one other race? Was it? TT stage of Swiss. I or won something. TT. I won oh, the national TT championship. I won Tirreno. I won. I won. You won a few, yeah. Okay. I won Oman, I think. Okay. I, yeah, I won the nice stage in Oman. Right. No, no, I have won. I have. I have had a, again pretty good season and. Oh, the, I remember it was the up like the sprint on the up yeah. hill you know, from a group. At Oman, it? yeah, I beat yeah. Uh, Valverde and and uh, Peter. And the thing is with the Olympics is I said I want to go or I will go, but I'm not like. Ah, this is my main goal. So I put okay. the pressure low. We knew that it's going to hard circuit. Yeah. And I went to the tour, but in the tour I wasn't really good. But it was ocean emotionally was was difficult for me yeah. because I have a lot with the tour. But on the other hand, I hated the tour somehow. We finished on a, on a really nice way and went to the Olympics. But before I left, first of August, I said, "Home, if I'm going to get a medal, no, mm. if I get the gold medal, I stop." Okay. They looked at me and said, damn. Because I was believing a medal is possible. Yeah. But the gold, you know, is like the pinnacle. The, the yeah, yeah, yeah. And things came. And yeah, I said after the race straight to Luca Luca, it's, it's this over. Is it. well, Let's call John Burke. Let's call John Burke from Trek, president. It's over. Fabian, yeah. No worries. Now enjoy. It's really interesting talking to you because you'd like to talk, don't you? You're very. I mean, I mean, no, no, I'm, it's interesting. You I just have, talk. I, you can and talk, talk about and talk everything. But it's great. It's everything. You, 
you I don't, have no problem. You don't stop talking. It's really great. And in, in, in a I'm good way. I'm talking anyway. In, in, in a good way. <laughs> no, I, but like things, it. They, I like it. I like it. It's great. They had, you clearly, you are so interested in lots of other things apart from, and we've talked a bit about riding, but just out on our ride yesterday and today, you just, you clearly have lots of ideas and you lots of new challenges and you're kind of clearly very interested in the next phase of your life. And it's yeah. fascinating just to sit back and just listen to how enthusiastic you are. It's great. It's really, really cool. Sometimes yeah, they don't, <laughs> no, some, I mean, I, I'm, when I start to talk, then I talk, but it's also a learning process to talk less. I need to, I mean, when I do interviews, I remember as a rider, they always had to come and stop me. <laughs> I was going to say, but gonna, this, this is going to be a 45, 50 minute documentary. <laughs> That's why I have it's Arlette great. to it's help great. me to say, uh, time no. out. <laughs> That's no, but hey, wonderful. It's so um, interesting. Life is full yeah. of uh, full of experiences, and and the sport has given me so much. Mm. And so hey, I have to a lot to talk, Absolutely. and and I'm not scared to talk. Mm. That's the thing. I mean, it's not about being dumb and not talking. Were you like this at school? Were you the kid that was always talking at school, or is it something no. new? Were you, were you, were you quiet at school? Just generally, it's yeah. not. No, it's just, I mean, I don't have a problem to talk yeah. and I think it's not stupid stuff that comes out. No, no, no. no because if uh, you talk with certain business people, you cannot talk only about how it's nice about the Olympics. They want to talk, they want to hear from you about being the writer's world yeah. and I want to hear how is the behind the world of their living. Yeah, yeah. When, when you look at somebody as successful as you and not just relatively successful you know successful over a one like 10 years of remarkable success at the highest level two olympic medals roubaix flanders and everything else it's the consistency and it's the mindset that a business person will be interested in but then you know so there's, it's the t it's two way isn't it there's so much that business has learned or will or, or are learning from elite sport athletes and the discipline right? discipline routine structure they're all important things that are relevant in business as well. When I look back, of course I had that, but not always. Right. Because if I will have it always, I will explode. Oh yeah, you need the time, you need to take that pressure Yeah, but in sometimes. business yeah, yeah. it's difficult sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Because getting a break, I mean, look at now. Especially running your own business, you can't just walk away for a few days, can you? You need to. No. But you need also to, to have your rest. And an example like Peter Sagan now. He's just traveling. He's just all over the world mm. from Mid October until mid of November, end of November, my bicycle was really away. Yeah. But now it's impossible. Now it's like it's there everywhere when you rest yeah. from that world because that's why um, when you when you have just the whole entire year when you're resting when you re, re, re resting from what you achieved, what can have changed your life, yeah. or how things will change. Uh, to reflect also the whole year and to how okay, to um, to deload like to just let it go yeah and and this is also what um, what I think is really really important to to let that go and 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 having that time I'm a guy I like multiple things yeah learnings and as a pro athlete I turned in professional I didn't know what I'm gonna be climber I mean yeah. I said in 04 after I was wearing the first time, or when I won the prologue uh, in Liège, I said, I want to win the Tour de France. The most, most biggest stupid thing ever I said. Because uh, at that age and that situation, I didn't knew, but that just because what of the of yellow, yeah, said, yeah. I want to win this. Course, but yeah, yeah. I never won. Even I have the most days wearing yellow jersey without being a winner, uh, feels nice. But my road was time trial. And then classics, yeah. and not Grand Tour. Yeah, yeah. So, but I had to find that by the year. So the first three, four years been a, a learning, like a school. Yeah. Like people go into school or, or do certain jobs or learning for certain years or go to study. Yeah. Your, your son gonna study now this cybercrime. This cybercrime, and this. yeah, yeah. So, and sociology. But maybe yeah, yeah. after that, he finds out, damn, oh, yeah. I want to do something else. It's quite, quite likely he will. Yeah, it's. Um, but he's doing his first step. Yeah. So I did the first step as a cyclist, now yeah. a second step, and yeah. this, is, this is normal. I mean, it's a learning process. Yeah, and yeah. being and sitting at home and, and looking when the nice weather is coming for go for a ride, that's not me. Yeah, I can tell. It's been fascinating.
before and before we before we go, we're going to go and have a look at your bridge. Aren't okay. We? We've ridden underneath Fabian Cantor yeah, Bridge. Quick. We're now going to walk over the bridge as well. But from the from the cafe, Fabian, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you too. It's been been fun. When, yeah, um, was interesting. And, and wearing your shoes as well, so I feel you know. If they will wear. your size, you could take them home. Thank you very but much. They but they are too too a little bit big, aren't yeah. they? A little bit. Big. But we work on that. We work on it. Maybe we can have uh, another conversation. But yeah. uh, but thanks very much, mate. It's been a blast. Thank really you also. It, Thank mate. you. Well, we've got enough material there for maybe a Netflix series. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've been under Fabian Cancelaro's bridge. We're now going to go over it to complete, well, to complete the kind of options on offer in relation to bridges. Yeah, it's a small, it's a small climb, huh? You see? It is. I'm not to get. I need to get the right gear in. You have the right gear. You've got the aerodynamic uh, top tube thing going on. Just, oh, that's like a small climb. He's, atta he's attacking over a bird. Up in the open bay. Oh. I need to get. A pic I need to get a selfie, mate. For this, really. Oh, damn, it's cheesy. Do you ever come out and just walk over it? Yeah. And just hang around? And no, just... no, 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 no. This is not. We've got to do another picture here because it's just brilliant. This is just gold. Well, gold medal. We have, we have to do it again. We'll do it again yeah? soon. Oh, yeah. Something around again. And then we can have like a proper, proper one pack. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a lot of people ask me, when will the pain in my ass go away? And I'm saying, three weeks, a month, you need to persevere. But...